the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Morning, everybody. Amen. 15th Sunday of the year, Mass this morning. This Mass is offered up for all of you and everybody in the parish. A special uh, remembrance, please, for Katarina Bierdzinska, the Polish mother who has died the other night out in Ashfordby. Her son and wife and family were here last night. So a little prayer for her and we have a funeral coming up this week of another Polish lady called Mrs. Roman who is funeral service on Tuesday. To prepare ourselves to celebrate Mass let us now call to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christian, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Obey the voice of the Lord your God keeping those commandments and laws of his that are written in the book of this law, and you shall return to the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. For this law that I enjoin on you today is not beyond your strength or beyond your reach. It is not in heaven so that you need to wonder who will go up to heaven for us and bring it down to us so that we may hear it and keep it. Nor is it beyond the seas that you need to wonder who will cross the seas for us and bring it back to us so that we may hear it and keep it. No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for your observance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord, you who are poor and your hearts will revive. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favor. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Lord, answer for your, kind, your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. As for me in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. 
The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. For God will bring help to Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. The sons of his servants shall inherit it. Those who love his name shall dwell there. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the unseen God and the firstborn of all creation. For him were created all things in heaven and on earth, everything visible and in everything invisible, thrones, dominations, sovereignties, powers. All things were created through him and for him. Before anything was created, he existed, and he holds all things in unity. Now the church is his body, he is its head. As he is the beginning, he was first to be born from the dead, so that he should be first in every way, because God wanted all perfection to be found in him, and all things to be reconciled through him and for him, everything in heaven and everything on earth, when he made peace by his death on the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 The sheep that belongs to me. Listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. There was a lawyer in, uh, to disconcert Jesus stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And he said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? And he replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this, and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus replied, A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell into the hands of brigands, who took all he had, beat him up, and made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be traveling down the same road, but when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite who, was, who came to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. He then lifted him onto his mount, carried him to the inn, and looked after him. Next day, he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back, I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbor to the man who fell into the brigand's hands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. And Jesus said to him, go and do the same yourself. The Gospel of the Lord. Now, uh, it's a, a hot morning, and it's going to get hotter during the day. Therefore, any excuse not to preach at length, <laughs> says Father. And he'll probably go on forever and ever. Uh, first of all, a little bit of gossip for you. Well, it's not gossip. It's actually true. Nine priests in our diocese are retiring this year. Nine. 
If any of you want to be ordained, see me in the sacristy afterwards. Nine. So a little prayer, perhaps this morning it might, we might be good Samaritans for our bishop because I can tell you it is very difficult to fill that sort of uh, uh, space, parishes. I don't know. It's not good. And they all have valid reasons for retiring. In other words, old age or sickness and what have you. I just want to call to mind one area of the diocese that uh, you may or may not be familiar with, and that is the east coast of Lincolnshire. If you start at the top of it, you have got the Had, the parish of Immingham. And then further down, you had parish, uh, two parishes in Grimsby. And further south again, you had Cleethorpes. All of those places are now looked after by one priest two deacons, and two parish sisters. It's a huge area, and there is no way that can be done without the active participation of people like yourselves who are in those parishes. And they are responding very, very well, I can tell you. Very well. There's a lot of skepticism about that when it was first put into motion. By five years now, that's been going on. And we keep saying to Father Andy Cole, it's about time you are moved somewhere else. Let somebody else take on that. He says, who wants to do my job? And of course, he's very able, and it would not be easy for just anybody to be going there. One of the little jobs that he has to do there is Imina. You have never been to any of many of you, unless you have been working on the sea or the seaport. It is huge. And every day, big containers come in there, offload, turn around, and leave. But before they leave, there is, on the, close to the port, a seafarer's uh, centre, where men and women, because men and women work on the sea, and some of them are away from home for months, months. And they come in there sometimes to just sit down and meet other people, meet other people. You see, if you're working on a ship or a, one of these big container ships, you know, the, the uh, space that you have to actually relax is very limited. And quite frankly, you know, you get fed up with the small number of people meeting every day, whether it's for meals or whatever. So to come into a port like Immingham and be able to come ashore and sit down and relax and sometimes get in contact with those at home and have a chat with them and to be offered some hospitality and somebody to listen is something marvellous for them. And... There are a number of them who come in, particularly from the Far East, from the Philippines. Yes. They will contact before they come into port, and they will ring up and say, Father, can you come and say Mass for us on board the ship? And there are some here who want to go to confession. And that goes on all the time. Of course, from time to time, there are some sailors who are poorly, and they need to see the priest as well. And, you know, a little bit of contact like that is hugely important. And that goes on. And Father Andy Cole is now doing that as well as we call it the Sunset Strip, those parishes along that coast. Today, we are having a collection for uh, Sea Sunday, as it's called. And it's to help ministry like that, not just in Imina. There are other ports around the country as well, but it's for them, so that hospitality can be offered. In other words, that we show ourselves a good neighbour to those who have to spend a long time away from home and with limited neighbours to converse or talk to. It's, it's very important. Uh, so I would like you to say a little prayer this Sunday. A for our bishop, and secondly, 
for those who work particularly in Immingham Port. Loads of volunteers, well not loads, no, they're always looking for help there. there a lot of volunteers and they also you know, contact other parishes in Lincolnshire particularly for help, for gifts and uh, what have you, um, some gifts so that they can give something to sailors when they come ashore around Christmas. Some little gifts, some little token that, you know, they're thought of. And it does go on, and parishes, particularly in Lincolnshire, but not limited there, are very generous in their response. We have an opportunity to do something ourselves this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. <clears throat> now with your Sunday message, on the back of it you will find the creed which we now say together. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. By dying on the cross, Jesus reconciled to himself everything in heaven and on earth. In peace, let us pray for the whole of creation. For the church, that we may become instruments of justice and compassion, of mercy and peace, of consolation and love. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. For politicians, yes, that they may work unselfishly for the benefit of those who have been, they have been elected by and elected to serve. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. For seafarers who make their living from a life at sea, that they may be safe from storm, remain connected to loved ones, appreciate their relationship with the ocean, and learn from it a sense of the endless mystery of God. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. for the victims of war in the Ukraine, the victims of the floods in Bangladesh, and the earthquake victims in Afghanistan, may those people who have died have eternal life. May the bereaved be comforted with the, and the traumatized be supported. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. For families who are preparing to have their summer holiday, many are already gone, may they be filled with the happiness and hope. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. For Helena Roman, whose funeral service I mentioned is coming up on Tuesday. For Katharina Berganska, who died two nights ago. May they rest in peace. Amen. For everybody in our parish, particularly those in any difficulty of mind or body right now who may need a prayer. We ask the intercession of Mary as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God of mercy and compassion, keep us close to your Son, and help us love you and our neighbor with all our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. That the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Thank you, gentlemen. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, and as she makes her prayer to you, grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now for those online and you who have missiles, Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John the Baptist and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Patrick our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Standing now, let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my world, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Union antiphon, please. The sparrow finds her foot, and the swallow the nest for her young, by her own church, the Lord of the Lord's sense, my King and my God. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing the poor Christ. Now, for those online unable to join us at communion at the present time, our prayer. By Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permitting me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Huh? Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ, do not. Body of Christ. Body of Christ, Mary. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ, Keith. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ, Mary. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ, Anna. Body of Christ, John. Body of Christ, Anna. Body of Christ, Greg. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ.
I'll be with you, Justin. Let us pray. <clears throat> Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by your participation in this mystery, we may, uh, its saving effects may come upon us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit nothing to say to you this morning, you would be very pleased to know, except there is a second collection. Why are the two counters still in the front? Oh, well, the two collectors. Oh, well, there you are. Uh, please take a copy of the newsletter, read what is in it, and you might some find something that is relevant. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. <laughs>